Hey everyone, it's Monday, March 1st. Let's start a whole new month of the quest calendar and get our daily dose of dungeon crawling and our RDA of RPG. All right, so back on Saturday, we found Victor and we freed him from this cage. Let's see what we're gonna do today. Today, we're gonna get on over to Kickstarter and we're gonna back the 2022 quest calendar. If you guys are watching this today, make sure you get over there before March 2nd at midnight so you can get in on the early bird specials. Now let's really see what we're going to do today. Just as you free Victor Philmont, the leader of this goblin pack comes around the corner. A monstrous bugbear and his pet wolf are looking at you like a tasty meal. You aren't getting out of this without a fight. So we're going to fight the bugbear and I guess his pet wolf for four rounds of combat. Remember we're going to roll a d20 plus our attack value and then our damage die after that. So to the tower we go, and today we're going to fight the bugbear. We're going to do it with everything that we have left in our arsenal. So we're going to start out by using our high variance dice. So let's go ahead and break these out. Alright, so the way that these work, if you didn't see the video where I explained them, shame on you, go back and watch it. These dice have lots of critical hits and lots of critical misses, and they are missing most of the in-between numbers. So the d20 has a couple of ones, a couple of 20s, and a couple numbers in between. So we're not going to roll many, you know, like 7s or 8s or something like that. And we're not going to roll many 14s or 15s. We're going to roll really well or really poorly. And that goes the same for the d10 as well. High numbers and low numbers. Not much in between. So this should be a pretty epic combat. We're going to go ahead and start out with round 1. We're going to roll our d20 plus our attack value, which is 4. And then we're going to roll the damage die. So this is round one. So roll a 16 plus 4 gives us a 20 for the attack. And our damage is only 3. What does that mean as far as the results go? So for round one, if your attack roll is 14 or more, then we hit. If your damage roll is 4 or more, then the wolf dies. We rolled a 3, so we didn't do any damage there. Uh, if we miss then the wolf is not dead and it pounces on you. We're going to look at our armor value, which we can see is 15. If our armor value is 15 or more, take no damage. So we can luck out there on round one, back to the tower, and on to round two. So for round two, we roll a six plus a four is 10 for our attack and only a two for the damage. And again, what does that mean? Well, it means that we miss and we don't do damage. So we'll come straight down here. The bugbear is not stunned this round and he swings his mace at you. If your armor is 14 or more, reduce your health by one. And that's gonna drop us down to seven health. All right, back to the tower. We're on round three. Round three, we do much better. We roll a 19 plus four is 23 for our attack and an eight for damage. So this time around, we are gonna hit because we rolled more than 14 and we rolled a higher than five. So the bugbear is stunned this round and we do pretty well in round three. Now we're gonna come back to the tower for the final round of combat. And this time around, Jasper is going to use his sense weakness ability and that's gonna allow us to add a plus 10 to our attack roll. So let's go ahead and do this in the final round of combat. So we roll a 16 plus our 4 from our attack is 20 plus 10 is 30, but we only manage a 1 for our damage. So for round 4 we look at it and we rolled way more than enough to hit the bugbear, however our damage wasn't high enough. So if we miss or the bugbear did not die, the bugbear grapples and squeezes your body. Remember our armor is at 15, so we're gonna reduce our health by two. That's gonna leave us with five health remaining. So before we go ahead and officially mark those two points away from Jasper's health, let's go back and look at our abilities. We still have the shield ability left. We can use that to take no damage this round. So we're gonna go ahead and mark that off as well. And we're gonna take no damage in round four Keep our health at seven. All right, so a bugbear. That's new. Haven't seen one of those before. Goblins, rats, things like that. Yep, not a bugbear. 
We didn't do so well in combat today. We tried out the new dice. They're pretty cool. Rolled some high numbers on the attack. Not very well with the damage though. So we use up a lot of abilities today, but we got Victor and I guess we get out of there alive. How'd you guys do today? Let me down there in the comments. Are you still alive? Did you try and use the death rules today? How'd those work out for you? Did you guys back the Kickstarter? Make sure you jump over there and do that. If you're here because you saw my video on the Kickstarter page, welcome. If you got the 2021 calendar, join the folks down there in the comments who are leaving their daily recaps as well. So hopefully there's a rest day coming up soon. Used all the abilities that I have, essentially. I got no slots left over. That lucky ability didn't come into play today. I rolled the one, but it was on the D10, not the 20. So we couldn't go back and re-roll that guy. You guys know what I'm gonna ask of you? Go down there and like I said, let me know in the comments how your day went today. Like this video while you're there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, or if you're new, coming over from the Kickstarter. And I got something new to ask you guys. If you are in the 2022 Kickstarter, go over to the comment section on there and give this channel a shout out, please. Let the folks over there know that there's uh, there's someone doing a daily playthrough series, the name of the channel, Blank Shot Gaming, and try and direct them over here. Let's get some more traffic down there in the comment section, and maybe we can get a few more people posting their daily recaps as well. It seems like it's really, really taken off at almost $30,000 as of the time of recording this. So I'd appreciate it if you guys would do that for me. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow, and we'll see where we're going to go with Victor now that we are past the bugbear. See you guys then.